Too often I find many people nowadays all caught up in how big a deer is, what its rack scores, or you know, did it did it make Pope and Young, is it a booner, no matter what species, whether it's elk, caribou, mule deer, whatever. It's uh, sometimes it seems like we're losing the focus on what's really important in life. And that's kind of why after seeing some footage this week that a friend of mine, Jake Helvey, sent me, uh, kind of check myself. And I want everybody else to check themselves too on what's really important in life. You're going to get to see a guy, Phil Castellone, who diagnosed with cancer, uh, prognosis isn't good, he's going to go out and get after some bear. But before we do that, I want to read you a letter that he sent me. Basically what happened is Jake sent me, had sent me this footage, he's a friend of mine, sent me the footage, reviewed it, it was good footage, and the story that goes with it, folks, is much better. Here's a... Uh, a letter I received from Phil. Hello, my name is Philip Castellone. I was born on July 1st, 1959. I am 55 years old, I'm married with two daughters. Diagnosed with colon cancer in 2008. Cancer spread to my lungs in 2010 when the doctors gave me three to five years to live. I will be under continuous chemotherapy, which will continue to my death. I enjoy hunting, fishing, and spending time with family and friends. During times like these, they are the most important things to me. Myself, Jake Helvey, Brian McKeon, and Rick Yoder have gone bear hunting in 2013 and 2014, having been successful with bear and walleye fishing at Colgrove's Eagle Lake Lodge in Ontario, Canada. Scott and Mary Colgrove have been running this lodge for many years and are great hosts. They want to make sure that all their guests have a successful hunting or fishing experience. They have very reasonable fishing and hunting packages to choose from with or without meal plans. They can also process your fishing game for you at the resort. They also have boats to rent or you may bring your own dock and dock it at their location. The drive from Des Moines, Iowa took about 12 hours. It was an easy drive with no major problems. We left at 3 a.m. and arrived at 2.30 p.m. On that day, we just unpacked and fished and prepared for the opening of bear season on August 15th. It is this day every year. We would begin our day if, by fishing in the morning and go out bear hunting at 3 p.m. They beat the bear buckets at 3 p.m. so we are quick to get into our stands. And it seems to know like bears know when dinner time is. And we spent about an hour in a stand when we harder, started to hear and see bear movement. And I'm gonna stop that letter at this. If that doesn't get you ready to watch what's coming in this episode above the game outdoors, I don't know what will. Here. It's time to get up a tree With a child by my side Friends close by Gonna make some memories Now I've tried hunting from an old brown pine That don't work for me I'd rather be in a stand High up in a tree Yeah, that's where I feel free You know the view from the ground Just ain't the same some might say it's just too plain I need a bird's eye view A view from the top A view from above the game We'll put our skills to the test See who can shoot best Even in the pouring rain I'm gonna set my sights on a buck or two You gotta see the view from above the game
surgically sharpened spring steel blades for devastating wound channels. The highest quality aircraft grade aluminum ferrules. Case hardened steel tips for bone crushing power. When you demand maximum penetration and durability in a broadhead, make sure it's a dead ringer. Dead ringer broadheads. There will be blood. The Pope and Young Club is much more than bow hunting's record keepers. Pope and Young is fair chase. We practice conservation. We believe in heritage. A fraternity of bow hunters network to protect the future of bow hunting. Ethical. Fair Chase Bow Hunters, the Pope and Young Club. Join us today. As an independent agent, People's Insurance Agency can tailor a program that fits any situation. We offer all sorts of insurance programs, including hard to place risks, such as farms and ranches, hunting guides, and outfitters. We will provide you solid coverage, personal service, and save you money. For more information, please call 800-932-4801 or visit us online at peoples-insurance.com. Okay, let's talk odor control. What odors? These odors. Human, pets, gasoline, exhaust, smoke, food, dead downwind field spray, the only field spray that controls all these odors. Did we mention it's skin safe? Don't try that with other field sprays. How's that possible? Enzymes. But we don't want to talk about enzymes. We're talking odor control. At dead downwind, 99% of just one odor type isn't good enough. Get your odors under control with dead downwind. Guaranteed. This segment is brought to you by Lightning Camera Arms. All right, we just got hooked up with Lightning Camera Arms this year, and these things are super easy once you get in the woods. Just take your mounting screw, tighten your bracket onto the tree, ratchet it on the tree, get it nice and tight. Take your camera arm, it's got the pin in the back, slide on the mounting bracket. All you gotta do is slide it in. Tighten in your locking pins. Tighten in both your locking pins. Got your bubble levels both on the mounting bracket and on your arms so you can level out everything and it's as easy as that. Lightning camera arms.
Beautiful. All Wind Pro Trail camera footage is 100% wild fair chase. Can your retractant do this? My special little one, watching only to happen. The WinPro Mark Scrape System has documented results like no other in the industry. Five years of whitetail trail cam testing prove our products produce results time and time again. WinPro Mark Scrape System scents are infused at a molecular level and are combined with a natural mineral that won't break down and is reactivated by moisture. Order your WinPro Mark Scrape System TV package today. You get the WinPro Dominant Buck Scrape Maker, the WinPro Doe Extra Scrape Maker, the WinPro Smoking Powder Wind Indicator, and if you order online now, you will also get the WinPro Mark Scrape Secrets DVD and our Winter White Scent-Free Wind Indicator absolutely free. Order yours now. But there must be All Wind Pro Trail camera footage is 100% wild fair chase. The extinguisher reproduces the full range of white-tailed deer vocalizations. You'll recreate the fawn, doe, or buck in an instant. The extinguisher's precision modest slide guarantees you a perfect note every time without any guesswork. Bleats. Balls, <coughs> groans, <coughs> growls, then roars, <coughs> grunts, <coughs> pops, then more. Quantities are limited for this season, so get yours now. As an independent agent, People's Insurance Agency can tailor a program that fits any situation. We do it all, from personal to commercial insurance. We work hard for you year after year to make sure you have the best coverage available at affordable prices. We provide you the price you need and the service you deserve. For more information, please call 800-932-4801 or visit us online at peoples-insurance.com. The pinnacle of form and function. The Viscerator from Field Torque Knives is the next generation of hunting knife. Simple, safe, and effective. There's no need to pack anything else. Field Torque products carry a lifetime warranty. So get online and get yourself one today at FieldTorqueKnives.com. Hey everyone, Josh Whitinger here at Above the Game. Uh, please remember to check us out on our website at AboveTheGame.tv. Check out all of our sponsors, all of our episodes in high def. We've got an awesome apparel line. Uh, check all that stuff out and uh, we appreciate the business. We hope you enjoy the hunts and uh, remember, hunt safe and hunt hard. This segment of the show is going to be dedicated to an organization that I'm very passionate about and everybody else at Above the Game are very passionate about as well. It's Retrieving Freedom Incorporated. It's located in Waverly, Iowa. They train service dogs for veterans, children with autism or diabetes. It's a great organization. They always need your help 
and I want you to watch and hear what Scott Dewey has to say about all the exciting things that are going on with Retrieving Freedom. Enjoy, folks. Retrieving Freedom is an organization that provides service dogs for veterans, physically disabled, and post-traumatic stress. They also train service dogs for children with autism. Um, Valor's here with me today. We want to tell you guys a little bit about Retrieving Freedom and why it's so important, what's happening and what's going on, give you a little insight on the, the things that are coming up in Retrieving Freedom and where we could use your help. Retrieving Freedom. Retrieving, look it up in the dictionary, to recover or regain, freedom is unrestricted use. That's what we try to do with these service dogs. Veterans, children, everybody, we want to let them regain their independence in ways that they were restricted before. That could be not being able to get out into public. That could be not being able to get off a couch without assistance. And that could be a social bridge for a child with autism that is having trouble or not being able to to make new friends or be able to participate in activities where a dog can allow that new social area to start if it's just as simple as playing with a ball or meeting a friend because you have a dog and you get to tell them what that dog's name is the same thing goes true with a veteran who any day can walk through a store and be bumped on three directions and nobody says hi and isn't having a bad day and and you walk in that same store with a dog and five people come up and thank you for your service and and tell you that you know they're really proud of what you've done for this country and you're more comfortable because that buddy that's with you has helped you get out of the house he doesn't judge you he's there every day giving you that unconditional love that you need to get through some of those stressful high anxiety moments that have come through combat and fighting for this country that's what retrieving freedom does is try to make those connections with children and veterans with a dog that can bring them to that new degree of independence in their life retrieving freedom has has been around since october of 2011 we've continued to progress daily towards our goals one of our biggest goals is upcoming this june with the construction of a new facility for the production of these service dogs and housing requirements for the veterans and families to get these dogs. We've almost funded the whole project. $20,000 will probably finish it out. We're starting the 1st of June and we're going to move ahead. So that's our first objective is to raise that last 20000 The other objective is to, to get these dogs, the public awareness, the ability for these things to, to go to the next level on operational funding and continued support through people that, number one, know about what we're doing, number two, need the dogs, and number three, that have never heard about us before. We're going to bring you a series of upcoming shows with Valor and the, the trials and tribulations of becoming a service dog, the places in public that you can go and watch a, a service dog in action, the new training that Valor will have to go through just to learn the basic commands of sit and stay all the way to opening up a fridge door or maybe retrieving a, a duck for a veteran that that would need him down the line or maybe shed antler finding um, there's so many things we'd like to let you be a part of through Valor's next two years of training that we're gonna see where this goes and, and encourage you to follow along and and find out where Valor ends up in his, his career as this thing moves forward.
for our last segment of the year. I want to take you to some of the fun stuff that we do in the off season. Uh, many summer times are pretty dead, whether people are out watching races, going camping on weekends, tractor pulling, what have you, whatever you love to do in the summertime. Uh, a new thing that I kind of got into this year is bow fishing. We had an opportunity to go up and fish with Kurt from Edge Bow Fishing up in the Twin Cities in Minnesota. And I'm going to show you some quick clips. The trip up, it was myself, Cody Hawks, Brent Bergdorf, and Caleb Linhart. Hopped in the truck, we headed up, spent a couple late, late nights up there, and had some great success. I highly recommend that, that anybody in the upper Midwest looking to do some bow fishing, look up Kurt, give him a call. You're not going to be disappointed. As you can see from all the footage we're going to show you. Right there, Brian. Brian, right there. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Got away! Well, before I leave you folks, I want to take a moment to personally thank each and every one of you who have tuned in this season and watched any episode of Above the Game Outdoors. Uh, it means a lot. The fans are the most important thing to us. I hope that you get to know each and every pro staffer on a bit more personal level to kind of get a grasp of what they're like. You know, when they're not out in the woods or behind the camera, we try to learn a little bit about what everybody's personalities are like so you can kind of see who they are as individuals and human beings aside from how skilled they are in the outdoors. Always remember, through the end of the year, Above the Game Outdoors, 7.30 p.m. Central Time, Monday nights on the Hunt Channel, Dish Channel 266.